Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hello everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 13th of January, Thursday. We're talking about 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network, 9 a.m. market update. The Dow futures up 122. They need to go a little higher to take out yesterday's high. This is actually good action, uh, reaction to uh, the, the uh, financial news. Tommy O'Brien Jr. will talk about it, I'm sure, in your show coming up. The uh, market kickoff, fabulous show. Hope you can stay and listen to it. And uh, it needs to uh, go above to extend leg, this gray leg A in the Chapman Wave methodology. 36.332 was the high yesterday, and we're trading at 36.281, just a hair breadth away from getting there. We'll see what happens by the end of the day. I suspect that this is still a mixed market, but we are looking at the semiconductors moving up sharply, up five at 311.20. That's a good sign after the doji candle yesterday. If the semiconductor index can close above 308.39, which is the high of yesterday, that's going to be a good sign. And you've got a couple of semiconductors really showing somewhere at all-time highs, like applied materials. So what we're looking at here is a select move up. Those Some of those NASDAQ stocks are just, they can't get out of their own way. But you are looking at some, some quality issues moving higher we're looking at the s p futures the es right now it's going to the continuous contract is up 11 at 47.27 uh, if it can start to trade anytime the next between now and friday about 47.55 that'll be a good sign for next week but if there's a failure later on today oh, that's just going to say be careful this is very select this move to the upside you can see that in the qqq the ndx 100 trading up a dollar 17 at 388.52 really low lows and lower high so far that's been the theme for quite a while so you're going to have to see a move into the 396 390 400 area by monday or tuesday to really say the queues can try for the all-time high otherwise they're probably going to fail iwm the russell 2000 acting very weak now what we are looking at here is gold at a very nice move gold is down five points at 1822 but it's in the 1820s if gold in the next couple of days is able to start to trade uh, so far, it's good action because it's above resistance. But if it can get into the 1828, 1831 area, that's going to say that the move down in the dollar is going to be impactful to the counterpoint of gold moving higher, the dollar moving down. We'll be, uh, that should be something spoken about in all the shows coming up today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Basil Chapman signing off. Thank you for Tommy O'Brien and great programming here at TFNN. Have a wonderful day.